Today's video smells like this. Ruby, not Rouge. Let's talk about it. Hello people, my name is Nixon Dice and you are watching Smelly Cat. Thank you in advance for liking, sharing and subscribing. And if at any time in this video you feel that this is moving too slowly for you, I would suggest increasing the speed in the video to 1.25x or 1.5x. Today's video is about my experience and my opinion on Amber Oud Ruby Edition. Yes, not the Rouge Edition. This is a newer release. It's called Ruby Edition and this is part of the Amber Oud series. Now you already know about Amber Oud Rouge, fantastic scent, but I think it has been discontinued from the looks of it and they have gone for a replacement which is this one. So first things first, yes there are a few differences between Amber Oud Rouge and this one, the Ruby Edition. Uh, they aren't the same scent in different bottles. Uh, but I'll tell you about them a little later on in the video. First, a quick look at the presentation. The entire Amber Oud series comes in this box. It has like a metal strip uh, in the center. And this is the look and feel of the box. Not just the Amber Oud series, but also the Must series, which I'll probably cover uh, in the next month or so, also come in the same box. Just the bottle of that one is different. So this one is a nice deep red or crimson red and this has a soft touch on the outside you have amber oud and ruby edition written on the box let's have a look inside on the inside you have al since 1970 written on the top side of the box and then you have the bottle fitting snugly inside uh, with this velvet like red finish here's the bottle i'm a big big fan way back from when uh, the Amber Oud Gold Edition launched. I love the color of the bottle and I love this metal plaque which goes all through the top of the bottle towards the end and the cap as well matching this metal plaque. I'm a big fan of this design. I bought Amber Oud Gold Edition only because of the bottle. This one in red looks really nice up close and this red and gold, I mean, you know what it, it's trying to mimic and it does it really well. The cap has the Al Haramein logo again since 1970 and honestly, like I said before, this vibrant red and this dull gold go really well together. And here's a quick look at the sprayer. Everyone knows this DNA, so I don't have to get into that in detail. I'll just tell you what the official notes on the website are, and I'll tell you what the scent journey is like. So the top notes are bitter almond and saffron. The heart notes are Egyptian jasmine and cedarwood. And the base notes are ambergris, woody notes, and musk. Now, the first thing you'll notice with this one is this thin and airy saffron with a very light salty ambergris then almost instantly there's a very prominent bitter almond coming through and taking over after that this gets a little deeper because the woody aspects uh, show up as well making it much richer than it starts off now the main difference between Baccarat Rouge 540, the EDP and the extract version is the introduction of the bitter almond note. Now I've had decants of both of them in the past and my personal preference is the extract version because of that bitter almond in it and uh, the woody ambergris in the base. I feel it's a lot more harmonious and uh, the woody touch makes it slightly more masculine although the scent is unisex as you already know having said that i've never really felt the need uh, for a full bottle thanks to scents like this one now moving to al haramein amber oud ruby edition versus al haramein amber oud rouge now i've had a bottle of rouge for the longest time uh, it was nearing i think it was a little more than half uh, empty when my sister took it away from me because she really liked the scent um, so yeah I have a good experience with that one and I've been using this for about a month now so I can tell you what the differences between them are 
I just wish I could do a side by side really, but I really don't have the bottle with me now. So I'm going to do it out of scent memory. Let me start by saying that if you already have Rouge, Amber Old Rouge, you don't really need Ruby Edition. And if you have Ruby Edition or you're planning to buy it, you're not going to miss out on Rouge. Yes, they do have a lot in common, the same way that uh, Baccarat Rouge EDP and the Extract version have almost everything in common. This one, just to simplify it, is closer to the Extract version and Amber Oud Rouge is closer to the EDP version. Amber Oud Rouge is a little fruity floral and a little thinner in the air. Ruby, on the other hand, is buttery, creamy and has more depth. In Rouge, the ambergris feels a little more like ambroxin. In Ruby, the ambergris is slightly saltier. Amber Oud Rouge is slightly more feminine, still unisex. Amber Oud Ruby Edition is, let's put it this way, it's easier for a man to pull off, still unisex. Amber Oud Rouge Edition lasts for around 8 to 10 hours with a massive siage. Amber Oud Ruby Edition is 12 hours plus. But the siage I would say is slightly lesser compared to Rouge. So more longevity but slightly less throw in the air compared to Rouge. Projection for this one and the Rouge Edition is best in the first 2 to 3 hours. Yeah, it does. You know, it's very noticeable to others around you in the first two to three hours, which is fantastic. The rest you already know who's going to like it, where to wear it, best time to wear it. It's not a secret, this NDNA. Uh, so I hope the differences that I've uh, listed down helps you know the kind of scent this is compared to the older Rouge edition. It's just Rouge actually, not Rouge Edition. This one's called Ruby Edition, that one's called Rouge. So now that I've answered your question, the ball is in your court. If you still have questions, don't hesitate. Ask me in the comments section or I'm gonna leave my Instagram ID somewhere here. Uh, you can uh, slide into my DMs. One thing I forgot to say is that I really like this one and more than me, my wife has been reaching out to this one <laughs> quite a lot recently. It's quite a likable scent. Uh, up there in terms of quality. Not uh, regretting one bit that Rouge has been discontinued because uh, I really prefer this one to be honest. Um, and quite evidently my wife as well. If you've reached the end of the video, I think you liked it. So why not hit the like button and while you're at it, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon too. Until next time, keep smelling amazing.